Hey everyone, it's your girl Nunu the Hair Diva and I'm back with you with a Shop My Stash week number 14 makeup look number one. I just want to say welcome to all the new positive supporters. Hey y'all to all my regular supporters. Nunu is moving up <laughs> with the subscriber count. I really do appreciate it. So for all of you that this is your first time or many of you who don't know how I have changed the Shop My Stash videos, over here on the side you will see a pop-up which should already be up of all of the products that I use on my face every single time I do a Shop My Stash video. It is the moisturizer, the brow products, the concealers, primers and occasionally there will be foundations and facial mist over there so those are the items that I will be using on a regular basis that way this video could be a little short so let's go on ahead and start with this makeup look I'm going to zoom in show you my face show you the products show you my face again and then we will be done so let's go on ahead and zoom in. Alrighty, so foundation. I always say my forehead because <laughs> you get to see more of that than the rest of my face. We have my brows, we have my shadow, my lashes and lower lash line. We have blush. And not quite a highlight, but a little bit of it. I have a little bit of, of bronzer on, but I will show you where I am wearing it. And then the lips. Ta-da! Alrighty. So, first things first. The foundation that I have on my face I have mixed the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. Looks like this. This is in the color 71 Deep. And I mixed it with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. It looks like this. It is in the color 112 Cocoa. These two colors, they work together, but I still get that little orange effect. However, it does go away. I think that's just how it looks once it is wet. But like I said, it goes away. The Kat Von D is a little too light, but I love the coverage. Full coverage. And um, it blurs out pores to me. As well as the Infallible, they both are uh, mattifying. That's what I wanted to say. So those are the two foundations that I have mixed together and applied to my face. The next item that I have on that I mixed just a little bit in with it is the Philosophy Take My Breath Away. This is a liquid bronzer. There's only one. You can get it at Ulta. I mixed it in with the two foundations and applied it to my face just to give myself a little bit of glow and I really like how that looks. The next thing that I have on is a under eye primer. Now I probably should have showed this to you before the foundation but <laughs> we're going to just do it this way. This is a sample of the Smashbox uh, Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I really like this. I wanted to find something that would help me with the creases under my eyes or shall I say fine lines so that it doesn't crease when I use foundations, concealers, even powders and this is the answer. Love it, love it. You know Nunu going to buy another one. Alright, now under the eye, I wanted a little bit of a highlight without actually using highlight. So I went and I used my old but faithful Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. This is what that looks like. The color of it is so, I don't know, it's light. But for me, it just blends in. Now, I'm going to take what's on my finger and just lightly rub it across. And you can see what I mean. 
It blends in well, it's waterproof. I love the brightness that it gives. Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer by Tarte. All right, the blush that I have on. Loving this. Um, it is new for the spring. It is the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Mellow Wine. Looks like that. And you can get these from CVS. That's where I got mine from. And this is that color. I really think it is very pretty. It is nice and soft. It blends out well on the skin. Hopefully you can see that. And I just love it. And I'm glad to have used it with this look. Alright, on the lashes. I have my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. <laughs> but as you can see, the wand is the wand from my Stretch X. I just love what that wand does to my lashes. So I removed the other one, put this one in, and so far, so good. I am enjoying the formula of that mascara. On the top part of my uh, lash line, I have the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Liner in black. In the tear duct area, I am using the LA Girl Glide. And this is in the color Champagne, that color you see there on the end. And the shadows that I have started to use. Okay, so I am using this compact here. I made this, it is my customized compact. What I decided to use actually came from this upper area, which is the Stila in the No palette. I just took it out of its original, original packaging and put it in here. The colors that I used was this color here and this one. And let's see, can I see it? It, no, I can't see it. <laughs> So this color here, I will put the color of it below. And this is the main color in the crease, if you can see that. This color here that I used will be linked below. I put that under the brow bone highlight. Those are the only two colors that I use out of my customized palette. Then for the lid color, I came to my Urban Decay Vice Limited Reloaded. This is the 2016 edition. And let's see, try to cover the mirror. The color that I use in here is called Shallow. And that is this color right there. And it is called Shallow. Very pretty. That's what that color looks like. And that really, oh no, that's uh, on the lid. For the lower lash line, I use this color here called Twice Bait. Yep. Okay. So that was it for the shadow. Now, I have had people ask me about this lipstick that I am wearing. It is a MAC lipstick. All of you know the boxes. This is the packaging that it comes in. But this is a special lipstick for me. It is called Call the Hairdresser. Nunu is a hairdresser. I have been a licensed cosmetologist ever since 1988. Do the math. And this, you know, is what it looks like. You have the regular black bullet called the hairdresser. Let me show you the box, the name on the box. And here is the color. This is what the color looks like. It is a luster. And this is what it looks like on the lips. little bit more on I think it is very very pretty I am so glad to have gotten this the only bad thing about it is it wasn't a limited edition but it has been discontinued 
off of the Mac site. So if you want this, you're gonna have to try to search for it on eBay. And um, that's what I had to do. So yes, if I can remember the seller, I'll possibly try to link it below, but I might have to get another one. Also, last thing, Call the Hairdresser actually came in two colors. You had this particular kind of pinky nude and it also came in a bright orange and I didn't want the orange one I got the pinky nude all right that is all the makeup let's zoom in again I hope this video isn't too long you have the foundation and my brows you have the eyeshadow the lashes and lower lash line the under the eye hydrating primer and a little bit of the waterproof bronzer. You also have the blush and my lips. All right, everyone. Last but not least, because I see it and I was about to forget, I have the Kat Von D Lock and Load Facial Mist on. I am honestly just about finished with this. I mean, I think I only have about this much left in there. Um, I just want to say to everyone to all be blessed, wear your makeup, save your money. Don't forget to check out the end card. I always have a new youtube channel that i want to tell you about and uh to everyone else to all be blessed see you later hey everyone it's your girl nunu the hair diva and i'm back with you with another shop my stash video for week number 13 makeup look number two now this is going to be the last shop my stash video for this week because um, on Sunday or Monday, you will be seeing new makeup for week 14. So I wanted to quickly come in here and show you my face, uh, the makeup, my face again. And just remember that I am trying to do these videos a little bit shorter. So over here, you will see annotations of uh, some of the products that I use on a regular basis so that I don't have to keep showing them to you. So